Now, I met this next performer on J-Date. <laughs> Julie Goldman, you can see her on Bravo's The People's Couch, and she rocks. Julie Goldman, get up here. You're gorgeous. There's a lesbian on the show? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's what's going on, you guys. Here's what's going on. So I had to go to this audition. Okay, it's an audition. An audition. <laughs> so I go to this audition. Now for me, you know, it's very niche, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you know, once a year, I go out. audition and normally for me what happens is it comes to the thing and it says in description and it's usually like you know androgynous <laughs> you can imagine so the thing literally said this so this has literally happened to me androgynous check <laughs> wearing cargo shorts with an olive oil stain <laughs> Own them. <laughs> Short hair, right? Almost fat. <laughs> Almost fat. <laughs> Check. <laughs> and then the final word said straight. It said straight. It said straight. <laughs> it said straight. And I was like, I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> But then I got it together, I got it together, I got it together. And I said, I can fucking do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> right? So I had to walk into this thing. So I had to walk into this audition, and I was like, I mean, okay, I'm gonna be almost fat, androgynous, straight lady, because cargo shorts on with an olive oil stain. Got it, no problem. So I walk into the thing, there's a lady, <laughs> walks, because a lady, when she walks, she sort of dances. <laughs> and I had to say these exact words. I had to say these exact words. I had to say, so I go, so you walk in, whatever, and there's like people behind the desk because I'm judging you, blah, blah, blah. So I had to go, and this, is, this, is, this is the words. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, I hope that room is still for rent because my husband Dale broke up with me. <laughs> So they said no. <laughs> but here's the thing, and here's what I heard later from my agents. My agents were basically like, look, listen, they didn't believe you. They didn't believe you. And I was so fucking offended, because at first I was like, of course they didn't believe me, but then I was offended, because it's like, what did they didn't believe? What did they believe? That I couldn't go fuck Dale? You don't think that I could go get with a guy named fucking Dale at any moment right now? I could go to any bar in the city dressed like this and fuck Dale. I will fucking marry Dale for 10 years and fucking peg Dale. He won't even know what the fuck happened. You understand what I'm saying? I could get Dale. How dare, how dare. So my goal now is, because then they told me I need to soften my look, sir. They said I have to soften my look. So now my goal is just reasonable doubt. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard when you're you look different, when you're different, whatever, we're just living, we're just being, being ourselves, we're just trying to live our lives, you know what I mean? Who gives a fuck, whatever, right? <laughs> I'm at an age now too where all my friends are having babies. <laughs> Everybody's having babies, they're like talking about babies. <laughs> babies are amazing, babies are a miracle of life, babies are incredible, babies are incredible, babies are amazing. You're not a woman until you give birth to a baby. <laughs> Don't you have a baby? 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 Don't you have a pregnant? Don't you have a baby? Don't you have a baby? Don't you have a baby? Don't you have a pregnant?
I mean, I can't, I can't, I'm capable. I think if I got pregnant, it might be confusing. <laughs> Just for the world. Just diking around pregs, you know what I mean? You know? Just diking around, right? Just like, oh! <laughs> Just prags! <laughs> but all my friends are having babies. They're so happy they're having babies. And that's great. If you're happy, you're happy. It's great. Have a baby. It's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> I had to go to this wedding recently, and all the friends came. They brought their babies. Everybody brought their babies. <laughs> Look, look at our babies, Julie. We're gonna take pictures of our babies. So all, we're all having babies, and our babies are gonna be best friends when we grow up, but you don't have anyone. You're alone. You're totally alone. You don't have any babies. You're gonna be alone. You're gonna be totally alone. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I've I could get pregnant. I could get pregnant. <laughs> I'd just be like a single les mom doing it for herself. <laughs> you know what I mean? The thing is, I think that I'm too Jewy to get pregnant, which is just the truth. You know what I mean? I don't want to feel any pain. It's too painful. You get sweaty, whatever. So then I'm like, why don't you just like, break it down for me? Maybe I want to get pregnant. Maybe I'll know the beauty of pregnancy. Why don't you break it down for me? And they're like, oh my God, it's incredible. First for you, but it might just be too complicated because you have to find sperm. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Even the word. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> No, go on, go on, it's fine, go on. Everything is beautiful. All your balls, everything in there is amazing. So, I'm like, okay, I'll get the <laughs> semen. Oh my God, and then you just put it in like a turkey baster, like a pen, just something that clicks. And then you get it, you just get it in there, you just get it inside you. And then it like meets with the eggs. You have like a farmer's market filled with eggs. That's all women are, just eggs. And then it's just like the thing finds the eggs and it falls in love and then it grows inside your body and it grows and it grows for months inside of you. And then you eat, then it eats, and then you eat, then it eats. It shits and vomits inside your body at the same time. And it's like an alien parasite living inside you. And it lives in your liver and your organs and your spleen and it moves all your shit around. And then after many months, legs and arms grow and it kicks you and it punches you from the inside. And it kicks you and punches you. And then it grows fingernails and it's correct. It scratches you, and it scratches you, and now it's got legs and arms, and it's scratching and kicking, and then you have to push this thing out of your tiny vagina hole that sometimes you can't fit two fingers in, but you do, you figure it out. Or a dick, or whatever, you just get it in there. And then, you're pushing, and you're pushing, and you're so t tiny, and then the doctor has to cut a hole between your vagina and your asshole, and now you have one hole, now you have a vaginus, now you just have a vaginus. So now you have to put the baby out of your vaginus, but that's too small, so then they have to cut from your throat to your vaginus and open up your whole body while you're awake. While you're awake! Ta-da! Thanks a lot, I'm Julie Goldman, everybody.